Welcome to the audio recording of the first edition of BCP News, the official magazine produced for BCP Council residents. My name is Judith and I will be reading with Elaine and Derek is our engineer today. Our mag- the magazine is produced quarterly and a printed copy is sent to homes in Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole. Audio and large print summaries are produced and you can also view or listen to the magazine online at bcpcouncil.gov.uk forward slash bcpnews. Contact us to request a copy in an alternative format or to report delivery problems of the printed version. Email bcpnews at bcpcouncil.gov.uk or telephone 01202 451-435 Introduction from the Councillor Vicky Slade, Leader of BCP Council A new council, a new approach I am unbelievably honoured and humbled to have become the first ever Leader of BCP Council Not only do we have a brand new local authority to shape we also have the opportunity of a lifetime a fresh and exciting chance to improve the lives of the people that we serve, to strengthen the communities in which we all live and to protect the environment that we treasure. As a council, we are legally responsible for hundreds of vulnerable children, champions of scores of unique communities, landlord to thousands of families, service providers for hundreds of thousands of residents, and custodians of miles of precious coastline and many hectares of green space. Above all, we are accountable to local people and must never forget as much. As we begin to shape and define the policies and work programme of the new council, we are committed to increasing the involvement of residents and communities. We will shape our priorities in consultation with those affected starting with harmonising council tax and services quickly and fairly across the three towns, ensuring that everyone has a decent home to live in, real, lasting and meaningful actions on climate change, addressing significant transport issues, including parking, congestion, pollution and making transport truly sustainable creating more formal opportunities for residents to influence decision-making through a review of town and parish councils and planning arrangements. We have the chance to create a legacy that will live for generations. I look forward to making that happen with you. News. Councillors elect BCP Council's first ever chair, vice-chair and leader. Councillor Vicky Slade has been elected leader of BCP Council at the inaugural full council meeting held on the 21st of May 2019. Councillors also elected Councillor David Flagg as chairman of the council and Councillor George Farquhar as vice chairman. Upon election, Councillor Slade announced the following cabinet portfolios and members. Finance. Councillor David Brown, Children and Families, Councillor Sandra Moore, Regeneration and Culture, Councillor Mark Howell, Housing, Councillor Kieran Wilson, Strategic Planning, Councillor Margaret Phipps, Transport and Infrastructure, Councillor Andy Hadley, Climate Change and Environment, Councillor Felicity Rice, Adult Social Care and Health, Councillor Leslie Dedman, Tourism, Leisure and Communities, Councillor Lewis Allison. BCP Council is run by the Unity Alliance, a majority administration comprising Liberal Democrats, Christchurch Independents, Poor People, Labour, Other Independents, Green and Alliance for Local Living Councillors. 
You can find out more about committees, council roles and your local councillors on pages 25 to 28 of the magazine or visit our website bcpcouncil.gov.uk forward slash democracy. Are you an EU citizen living and working in the UK? Did you know that 29,000 people born in the EU currently live across Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole? That's 7% of the local population. If you are an EU citizen living and working here, you have the right to apply for settled status, regardless of whether the UK leaves the EU with or without a deal. It's free to apply for the EU Settlement Scheme and you just need to complete a short online application form. The scheme is open now and you have until 30th of June 2021 to apply. For more information on the EU Settlement Scheme, visit gov.uk forward slash EU Settlements Scheme. Cash Boost, support landlords and prevent homelessness. Residents who are at risk of becoming homeless or who are homeless are set to benefit from funding that will boost the number of private landlords who will offer affordable tenancies. We set up a new Help to Let scheme with government funding of £480,000. The scheme encourages more private sector landlords to offer quality tenancies for single homeless people and other households at being at risk at, of homelessness. The funding will be used to provide financial settlements for local landlords, enable the social letting agency Homes for Let to acquire more properties to manage on behalf of landlords, provide one-to-one -one support to help vulnerable tenants maintain their tenancy. Around 150 new tenancies will be created to help reduce the number of people living in temporary and B&B accommodation. Are you a landlord and interested in the Help to Let scheme? Contact us to find out more. Telephone 01202 687 or email help to let at bcpcouncil.gov.uk or on the website bcpcouncil.gov.uk forward slash help to let. Residents who need housing advice can find out more on our website bcpcouncil.gov.uk forward slash housing or telephone the contact number for the area you live in. For Bournemouth, that's 01202 451467. For Christchurch, 01202 795213. Or for Paul, 01202 633805. Barrel bikes now available. 50 brand new bikes are being rolled out this June as part of our five-year partnership with Beryl to operate a bike share scheme in Bournemouth and Poole. The company has also committed to develop the scheme to include Christchurch. You can hire a Beryl bike using the Beryl app, then ride it anywhere in the operating zone for just 5p a minute. Bikes can be picked up and dropped off in marked out barrel bays. Riders have a payment choice of pay as you ride, £1 unlock fee, or minute bundles, no unlock fee, or a 24 hour day pass for £12. Barrel bike facts. Bikes are an eye catching green colour. 50 bikes available initially, increasing to a fleet of 1,000 by the end of the summer. Three speed gears. Bikes are suitable for riders from 4 foot 11 
to six foot five inches in height. The barrel lap is needed to locate, hire and unlock barrel bikes. Download the barrel lap to your smartphone. Find out more about our bike share scheme online. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash barrel dot cc forward slash bike share forward slash Bournemouth hyphen pool. Popular zigzag path reopens in Highcliffe. Have you visited the recently refurbished zigzag path at Highcliffe Castle yet? The new path reopened earlier this spring and is providing a hit with proving a hit with residents and visitors. You can now easily combine your visit to Highcliffe Castle Beach with a stroll through Steamer Point Nature Reserve and Highcliffe Castle Gardens. The unstable zigzag path was closed two years ago. Council funding and an award from the Government's Coastal Communities Fund, or CCF, has allowed an extensive rebuild to take place. We will be putting a new planting around the path this autumn. If you are visiting the area by car, parking is available in the car park at Highcliffe Castle, off Rossi Drive. BH23 4LE or alternative parking at Steamer Point Car Park which is BH2340 A and Highcliff Cliff Highcliff Cliff Top Car Park which is BH235 DF Splashing time at refurbished paddling pool if you're looking for somewhere for the kids to cool off this summer, then head to your local paddling pool, splash park or water play facility. The paddling pool in Hamworthy Park Pool has undergone a major refurbishment and is opening soon. The total cost for this project is £381,000 and includes £31,000 raised by the Friends of Hamworthy Park. Most of the funding came from Pool's Community Infrastructure Levy, which is a planning charge to help deliver local community improvements. The Paddling Pool has been providing family fun for over 80 years, and the refurbishment of this free facility means it can be enjoyed by new generations of residents and visitors. At Christchurch Quay, the ever-popular Splash Park has also undergone a refurbishment and is now open for the summer season. Find out more by visiting the website bcpcouncil.gov.uk forward slash Hamworthy Park or Facebook Christchurch Quay Splash Park. Royal opening for Highcliffe Castle's newly restored East Wing. The newly restored East Wing of Highcliffe Castle was officially opened on the 30th of May by His Royal Highness the Duke of Gloucester. The East Wing of the castle has been derelict and inaccessible for over 50 years following two fires in the 1960s and has now been transformed thanks to a significant grant from the National Lottery Heritage Fund and funding from the Country Houses Foundation, the Pilgrim Trust and the Wolfson Foundation. The Duke of Gloucester was accompanied by HM Lord Lieutenant of Dorset, Angus Campbell, at this pri special private event. High Sheriff of Dorset, Mr Philip War, Councillor David Flagg, Chairman of BCP Council and Graham Farrant, Chief Executive of BCP Council, welcomed the Duke of Gloucester back to Highcliffe Castle following his previous visit in 2001 when the restored West Wing was officially opened. His Royal Highness met long standing volunteers on some of the castle's visitor routes and saw some of the original furniture from the house which has been loaned to the castle from the V&A Museum in London. Councillor David Flagg, 
chairman of BCP Council, said, It was a huge honour and privilege to be able to welcome His Royal Highness to the castle once again. He was particularly pleased to learn more about the architect, William Dunthorne, and see some of the original drawings. The castle is a very popular attraction for visitors, locals and people across the Bournemouth, Christchurch and Paul conurbation. It's great to have the recently reopened zigzag path linking the castle and the beach and I'm sure this will provide added appeal to this destination. Find out more online on the website highcliffcastle.co.uk Developing the potential of our city region. BCP Council serves around 400,000 residents from Hamworthy to Highcliffe. From day one of the new council, we've been here for you, ensuring that services continue to be provided as normal. Now that local elections have taken place, our work to make a positive difference to the lives of residents, businesses and visitors begins. So what could the future hold for Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole? We live in a special place. Our natural environment is breathtaking and includes two natural harbours and nearly one-fifth of our area is made up of sites of special scientific interest. The area is rich in history and heritage and our three towns have distinct characteristics valued by residents and visitors alike. The area also boasts high-profile universities, a Premier League football team, an international airport and a world-renowned orchestra, plus a diverse arts and cultural scene. There are challenges to overcome, of course. The area's population is rising quickly and our infrastructure needs to improve to cope and to help our local businesses grow. A supply of good quality and affordable housing is needed. We also have an ageing population and this places great demand on health and social care services. Funding is a challenge too. Councils are receiving less core government funding and need to rely more on local funding from council tax, business rates, fees and income. With the right approach, our challenges can present great opportunities and we can develop the potential of our city region. One of the reasons BCP Council was formed was to be able to create the right conditions for the area to prosper so that we can deliver a top location for lifestyle, business and leisure, sustaining the economy, especially the digital sector, nationally significant arts and culture facilities and events, housing that supports growth and meets local needs, improved transport links, both local and regional, modern and efficient public services, investment in skills and cutting-edge research and development. The scale of the Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole area means we can more easily plan for, bid for and win extra funding for housing, roads and schools. Graham Ferrant, BCP Council Chief Executive, said, There is huge potential to strengthen and secure our area's future. BCP Council has the opportunity to make this thriving, world-class area even better for lifestyle, business and leisure. We want Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole to be prosperous, vibrant and inclusive places for our residents and for generations to come. Generations to come. Roadworks, essential improvement schemes. Across Bournemouth, Christchurch and Paul, a programme of road improvements is taking place this summer. We recognise that roadworks are frustrating, but it is essential that we maintain and upgrade key routes and we try to arrange the work so as to minimise disruption. 
Dorset Local Enterprise Partnership, or LEP, has secured funding from the government's Local Growth Fund to support a number of local schemes and help boost our local economy. These include Bournemouth International Growth, Big Programme, which focuses on improving access and growth around Bournemouth Airport. This includes the major improvements on the A338. Townside Access, a scheme in Paul to improve access to the port, another one of our area's key assets. The most recent works have focused on the Hunger Hill roundabout. And Wallistown Crossroads Stroke Boundary Roundabout, improving safety on a major commuter route between Bournemouth and Pool, and which serves two universities and large employment sites. The A338 Blackwater Junction. Improvements at Blackwater Junction East are complete, and over the coming months, works will concentrate on Blackwater West signal improvements. The full benefit of these schemes will not be felt until Blackwater West is finished late spring. Remember, speed instructions speed restrictions are now in place and cameras in use so take note of the speed limits. Plans for a new link road and junction directly connecting the A338 with the Wessex Fields Business Park and Royal Bournemouth Hospital should go ahead. Work on the new scheme is expected to start soon and further details will be released shortly. Townside Pool We're finishing up the major road improvements and new road layout at Hunger Hill. Wider improvements to the townside area are due to be finished in 2020. This involves completing the links for pedestrians and cyclists, as well as creating an area identity through vibrant public spaces. This includes landscaping and a new artwork celebrating the town's heritage. Wallistown, roadworks coming soon. Major works at Wallistown Crossroads and Boundary Roundabout are scheduled to start next year. This summer, a new shared path for pedestrians and cyclists will be created on the south side from Wallistown Crossroads to University Roundabout, Fern Barrow. In the autumn, resurfacing of Wallistown Road is planned. Find out more online. Avoid peak delays by keeping up to date with our roads and travel news to help you plan your journeys and, where possible, take alternative routes. You can find more information at the websites a338.info or bcpcouncil.gov.uk forward slash townside access or alternatively bcpcouncil.gov.uk forward slash Wallistown Road. Did you know? It's a key priority to keep traffic in our towns moving and our long-term plans focus on tackling congestion in the area. Our city region is expected to receive significant funding from the Department for Transport's Transforming Cities Fund for major improvements to our bus, cycling and walking routes. Walking routes. Litter Campaign Cleans Up Along Award-Winning Seafront Have you heard of Leave Only Footprints? It's a litter campaign devised for Bournemouth and Poole in 2018. It's back this summer to help keep our beaches across the area clean by encouraging beach visitors to clear up after their day at the seaside and put their rubbish in the bins provided. The scheme is expanding to provide one clear message across Christchurch Seafront too. Leave Only Footprints is also taking steps to help make the towns greener and to be at the forefront of sustainable and eco-friendly tourism. Did you know that discounts are available on reusable cups? And the Refill Dorset Tap Water Scheme operates in cafes and kiosks throughout the Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole area. Our Leave Only Footprints team 
work with local organisations, schools, groups and families helping to educate people about the impact of litter. In the last 12 months, the team has taught 972 students aged 5 to 11, engaged with 742 members of the local community and amassed 1,575 volunteer hours for litter picks and beach cleans across Bournemouth and Poole. How can you help? Enjoy the beach and remember to take your rubbish home with you or use the correct bins provided. Blue for recycling and black for general waste. Community beach clean days take place throughout the year. Look out for details or arrange your own. Email us for more information on leaveonlyfootprints at bcpcouncil.gov.uk Did you know, in 2018, we added 200 new bins to the seafront in Bournemouth and Poole, offering a recycling option at every location. Find out more on the website bcpcouncil.gov.uk forward slash leave only footprints or the website litterfreecoastandsea.co.uk forward slash refill hyphen dorset. Dor Heritage and Culture Art exhibition highlights with a local twist. We've got a good array of arts, cultural and heritage based facilities in the local area. Why not get out and see what's on offer over the coming months? Henry Lamb Out of the Shadows A revealing exhibition of Henry Lamb's work is open at Poole Museum and runs until the 29th of September. Henry Lamb Out of the Shadows takes a deeper look into the life and work of this significant and highly skilled British artist. Showcasing around 60 works drawn from both private and public collections, the exhibition uncovers Lamb's development as an artist from his early career and influences right through to his deep involvement in family life during his later years in Wiltshire. The exhibition features two major pool works. The, nine, the 1926 painting of The Tea Party, which depicts Lamb's pool residence in Hill Street, and The Level Crossing Pool, painted in 1953. Also featured are many studies and paintings of Poole's urban scene and unemployed workers in the 1920s, highlighting Lamb's skill at preserving the community's history in some of his best work. Poole Museum will host a series of events and activities throughout the exhibition, suitable for all ages, including art detective trails and talks from experts. Admission is free. Find out more online, poolmuseum.org.uk. Alternatively, there's sublime symmetry at the Russell Coates. From the 14th of June until early next year, sublime symmetry, the mathematics behind De Morgan's ceramic designs, is exhibiting at Bournemouth's Russell Coates Art Gallery and Museum. Come and see the glorious work of William De Morgan, 1839 to 1917, the celebrated arts and crafts designer who is undoubtedly the most intriguing and inventive ceramic artist of the Victorian period. The Russell Coates presents over 70 magnificent tiles and vases on loan from the De Morgan Foundation, which explore the mathematical principles used by De Morgan to such extraordinary visual effect. For admission prices and details of other events and activities at Russell Coates this summer, including an existing exhibition of Bournemouth-based painter and printmaker Leslie Moffat Ward, 1888-1978, visit the website russellcoates.com. A 
third suggestion is Bournemouth Arts by the Sea Festival. Save the date, it's in this autumn. Our must-visit arts and cultural festival, Arts by the Sea, takes place from Friday the 27th of September to Sunday the 29th of September across various spaces in Bournemouth. The 2019 theme is Mind Matter and will explore key topics surrounding well-being and mental health issues within the festival's wider, diverse and inspirational programming. For the first time, visitors can soak up the whole programme of free events over one celebratory weekend. Find out more online, artsbythesea.co.uk Did you know, building on the great assets that already exist, a cultural inquiry is taking place to help shape the future of arts and culture across the Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole area. Find out who is involved and more details online at culturalenquiry.co.uk. Recycling and waste. Here's how to reduce, reuse and recycle this summer. Looking after the environment and living more sustainably has never been more topical. But how does this translate to everyday life? Could the small changes you can make at home by reducing your waste, reusing items and recycling really make a difference? We think so. Here are a few ideas to try. Number one, have a greener barbecue. There's no better way to make the most of nice weather than with a barbecue. Here are a few ways to reduce your barbecue waste. Make your own pasta and side dishes instead of buying pre-packaged ones and use reusable containers for the leftovers. Recycle your waste packaging. Bottles, cans, jars, trays and boxes can all be placed in your recycling bins. If you are caught out by the inevitable fickle British weather, freeze any uncooked barbecue food for another, hopefully sunnier time. Make amazing recipes from your leftovers. Check out the website lovefoodhatewaste.com Number two, go plastic free. Declaring your home plastic free can seem like a huge undertaking. These useful tips are a good start to stem the plastic tide. Be a smart shopper. Bring reusable produce bags or choose plastic-free packaging if possible. Search for alternatives. Virtually every plastic item has an alternative made of wood, metal or other natural materials. Stay organised. Use jars in the kitchen and natural materials instead of plastic storage bins. Clean up. Make your own cleaning products to avoid buying and throwing out plastic bottles. Number three, new to you. Come and visit our new to you shop in Poole. We're a council-led initiative that sells affordable reclaimed items while supporting community groups and local people in difficult circumstances who are in need of essential items. All of the items we sell were originally brought to either the Nuffield or Millam's Community Recycling Centres. By encouraging the reuse of good quality items through the new to you shop, we are reducing landfill waste and council disposal costs. Reusing and repurposing items reduces emissions from burning fossil fuels as well as reducing air and water pollution. There are lots of good reasons to come and find us and see what we sell. Head to Cabot Lane Depot, BH17 7BX. We are open most Saturdays from 9am till 1pm. Find out more online on the website bcpcouncil.gov.uk forward slash new to you. Or number four, your waste and recycling collections. 
You have a new council, but your waste services continue as normal. Your bin collection day has not changed, and the accepted items in your recycling and rubbish bins remain the same. Don't forget, you can check what items are accepted in your recycling bins by visiting our website. Select your area for accurate information at bcpcouncil.gov.uk forward slash bins. Sizzling summer of events and activities. It wouldn't be the summer without a free festival and whole host of exciting events and activities. Get set for fun times across Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole in the coming months. First, are you ready for the brilliant Bournemouth Air Festival, Land, Air and Sea? The 12th Bournemouth Air Festival takes place from the 29th of August till the 1st of September. It's regarded as the UK's most successful civilian air show, with spectacular day and nighttime entertainment. There will be vintage planes, display teams, fireworks, pyros, helicopters, parachutists and live music. We're busy finalising the lineup for this summer's big event. We've already confirmed the RAF Typhoon, participating for the first time since 2016. The awesome typhoon will be ripping through the skies on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Making its first UK appearance will be the Scandinavian air show Sky Cats, Wing Walkers and LLP Night Show. That's Lead Laser Pyro Night Show. And back to wow the crowds after a two-year absence the Lancaster leads the Battle of Britain memorial flight alongside the Spitfire and Hurricane. The RAF Chinook and Tucano training aircraft have been confirmed, as has the Royal Navy Black Cat Solo Wildcat helicopter. Rich Goodwin in GEWIZ makes a popular return along with the Blades aerobatic display team Strike Master and Fireflies. Despite the Red Arrow's absence this year as they take on an extensive tour of America, we are finalising new international additions to the daytime flying programme. Look out for the incredible Norwegian historical flight Saab Draken. On land, a host of traders will be operating from pier to pier. The RAF village will be located on the Overcliff area. Here you can also find the Royal Navy dive tank and chef demonstrations. At sea, Royal Navy ships will be in the bay and tour details will be released soon. Night air dusk flying takes place Thursday, Friday and Saturday evening. We can't wait. Find out more. Follow us and share your photos of the event on our website bournemouthair.co.uk or Instagram icon bournemouth underscore official, Twitter icon at bmthairfest, Facebook icon forward slash Bournemouth Air Festival. Note, all this line-up is correct at the time of today's recording. Did you know other events in Bournemouth this summer include Bournemouth Summer Live, which is a free event for all ages in Bournemouth Square from the 12th of July to the 26th of August, and Bournemouth Fireworks on Fridays at 10pm from the 26th of July to the 23rd of August. Summertime in Pool. Special events for residents and visitors to Pool include Key for My Car, sponsored by Pool Pirates. This is a fun free event on Pool Key with a different mark of car on display every week. It takes place at 6 pm on Fridays from the 5th of July to the 30th of August. Pool Goes Vintage on the 14th of July is a themed event 
featuring a full day of vintage entertainment, including live music, classic cars, dancing displays, a fashion show and a market. Continuing throughout July, Paul Dream Machines, sponsored by Coles Miller's Listers, takes place until the 24th of September on Tuesday evenings from 6pm. Bikers and spectators enjoy a relaxed evening on Paul Key at the biggest and the best free weekly bike meet in the UK. The very popular Rockley's Summer Spectacular, sponsored by Rockley Park, is another free weekly event on Thursdays. This one begins on the 25th of July and continues until the 29th of August. Each week has its own unique family entertainment from 7pm and a firework finale at 10pm. You can find about more about these pool events at pooltourism.com. Christchurch is the place to be. The ever-popular Stomping on the Quamps is a music festival taking place on the 3rd of August, situated in the picturesque surroundings of Christchurch Quay. The community-organised event is supported by local businesses and offers an eclectic mix of jazz fusion and Latin jazz through to blues and big band. Often described as one of the region's best-loved events, Stomping on the Quamps is free to enter, but the audience is kindly asked to donate a minimum of £2 per adult and £1 for children to help support the event. There's something for all ages to enjoy, from young children and families to grandparents. Find out more at stompin.org. How about a visit to Highcliffe Castle this summer? The beautiful cliff-top location and stunning beach makes the castle the perfect setting for events. There's theatre, music and more, including jazz, performances of Sense and Sensibility, Macbeth and David Walliam's bestseller Gangster Granny on the Lawn. For ticket prices and more information, visit highcliffcastle.co.uk. Ideas to keep the little ones entertained. Don't run out of ideas during the school holidays. Look no further than your local library and discover what activities are on offer in local museums. You could come and look for fairies at the bottom of the garden at the Russell Coates from the 24th of July to the 1st of September. Join us for magical crafts, trails, competitions and games all summer long. More details at russellcoats.com forward slash summer. Why not step back in time every Monday and Tuesday throughout August from 11am to 3pm at Scaplin's Court in Poole with our free historically themed activities. An experienced team of activity leaders and reenactors will be demonstrating crafts from the past and encouraging families to have a go at historical games. Check out poolmuseum.org.uk for details. Upton Country Park not only has beautiful countryside and shorelines for your family to explore, but a packed programme of events too. These are themed weeks through the school holiday. Prices and times may vary, so be sure to check at uptoncountrypark.com forward slash events for more details. You can find out more also at bcpcouncil.gov.uk forward slash email news for regular what's on information. Parks and nature. Get out and explore this summer. Spending time in nature is a great way to beat stress and improve your well-being. Get out and see some of the improvements we've been making to parks and green spaces. Be at one with nature and spot local wildlife. First, what's been happening in Pool Park? Pool Park borders Pool Harbour. 
lottery funding awarded for the park in 2017 is supporting a range of improvements. The historic park's lagoon and freshwater lakes have already seen significant developments this year with new islands, bird screens and landscaping allowing you to get closer to nature and enjoy the wonderful waterside views. We are now planning the next set of changes to the roads, car parks and pavements, making the park much more accessible and pedestrian friendly. Work should start in the autumn, so look out for a series of events over the summer to tell you more. And don't forget, our annual fun day and art exhibition will be held on Thursday the 25th of July from 10am till 3pm. Come along and enjoy activities including a climbing wall, face painting, circus skills, arts and crafts, raft making, heritage tours and much more. Best of all, most of the activities are free. Find out more online. Poolprojects.net forward slash pool park life. Secondly, new park at Two Rivers Meet. Did you know that the former Two Rivers Meet golf course next to the leisure complex in Christchurch is now public open space for all to use? The area is returning to a more natural environment and we're helping things along with wildflowers and planting, bird and bat boxes. The long-term plan is to create a country park stretching through to Stanpit Recreation Ground. The area is well worth a visit. Stop by the new benches and picnic areas and enjoy the wonderful views. Find out more online at bcpcouncil.gov.uk forward slash Two Rivers Meet Park. Or a third alternative are the nature events in Bournemouth. Hengrisby Head Visitor Centre and Kingfisher Barn offer a whole host of nature-based events and activities suitable for all age groups. You could join one of our guided or self-led walks from Kingfisher Barn and along the Stour Valley. Or join our rangers and a host of local experts to see how many plant and animal species we can record as part of the Stour Valley BioBlitz starting at 6am on the 18th of August. Meanwhile, Hengstbury Head offers opportunities to get up close with native birds of prey in workshops on Fridays on the 26th of July, 2nd and 9th, 23rd and 30th of August from 10am to 12 noon. The cost is £5 per child and £10 per adult. Booking is essential on 01202 451548. Find out more online at the website visitstourvalley.co.uk and visithengestbreehead.co.uk Did you know you can learn more about the variety of bird life in our local area from the charity Birds of Pool Harbour or Christchurch Harbour Ornithological Group. Visit their websites birdsofpoolharbour.co.uk and chog.org.uk Adult Social Care Services for Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole People of any age can need extra support in day-to-day -day life for various and often complex reasons. Adult Social Care is support provided to people with physical or learning disabilities or physical or mental illnesses. Our social care teams arrange this care and support to vulnerable adults and their carers. This could be equipment and advice to help people stay independent in the home, a visiting carer or therapist, access to services in day centres or day and night care that is provided in a care home. Care homes and care services are often run by private companies voluntary or charity organisations. Some are managed by the council and run by our partner agencies. 
Here we look at three council facilities in the Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole area. Number one, the new BCP Council Care Home for Paul. Figbury Lodge on Mitchell Road in Canford Heath opens soon. This brand new 80 bed nursing and dementia care home is council owned and will be run by Shaw Healthcare. The care home provides enhanced support to residents including rehabilitation as well as facilities which can be used by the wider community. Secondly, Dementia Service opens its doors in Moordown. Local residents with dementia and their carers are benefiting from transformed facilities at Moordown Plus, which opened earlier this year. £983,000 of council funding has been invested to refurbish the building and provide specialist facilities for residents with dementia. The centre is run by Tricuro, a BCP Council and Dorset Council company launched in 2015. Moordown Plus offers opportunities for clients and carers to come and participate in a range of activities and enjoy the company of others. Find out more online at tricuro.co.uk A third council facility is a Christchurch care home now owned by BCP Council. Avonview Care and Nursing Home in Christchurch is one of a number of services that are now owned by BCP Council. Avonview is also run by Tricuro and provides residential care for people with dementia, frail older people and nursing care for people with conditions such as motor neuron disease, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease or acquired brain injury. All bedrooms have ensuite facilities and there are communal lounges and dining rooms with kitchenettes. Outside there's a large pond, a few chickens, ducks and a pet cat. For care costs and more information, the cost of care is expensive. We work with residents and carers to assess their needs and their financial situation. We are then able to help people look at their care options. With the right help and support, many people can live safely and independently in their own home. Find out more about social care on our websites, mylifemycare.com or tricuro.co.uk. Bournemouth and Christchurch residents can contact us on caredirect at bcpcouncil.gov.uk, telephone number 01202 45 Four nine seven nine, while pool residents can contact us on SS Help Desk at bcpcouncil.gov.uk, telephone number o one two o two six three three nine o two. Thank you for listening to the summer edition of BCP News. The next magazine will be produced and recorded in September. September.